sticking around a little while? Uh, 
Shella. I was waiting for you, Callus. When did you notice? When I learned that you and... had found each other. And you had bonded together. I see. Also, when we were attacked by the Goldoba on the way to Mira, and were trapped in another dimension, you gave yourself away then. Cast light upon the darkened earth. Save those lost in despair. Almighty ocean, guide us as we journey through the darkest pit of night. The darkest pit of night, huh? Yes, all life will eventually return to the sea. That's my nation's prayer. The one I said in Moonguile Forest, where we first met. You know it by heart. What are you doing out here? You said we first met in Moonguile Forest, but we had met each other in Semorine before you left for the forest. At that time, I thought you just made a mistake. But it stuck in the back of my mind. Oh. It wasn't a mistake. It was a slip of the tongue, Shella. You gave yourself away. You had seen me in Moongal Forest before we met in Sumerland. You probably just happened to overhear us talking. Right, Shella? Is that...? Yeah. The ancient power is buried around here somewhere. You'll help us, won't you? I need your help for this. Here's the plan. I'll be attacked by rock cats and lose consciousness. When I come to, I can say some memories were partially lost from the shock. Not mine, yours. You'll have forgotten all about our plans and continue helping me. You and I are a team. Nope, sorry. There's no turning back. Okay, let's get this over with. Zap, memory for me. You belong to us now, just as this girl belongs to us. Come, free us from a thousand years of darkness, a millennium of solitude and suffering, beautiful white wings for you. For the world, death and destruction. <laughs> what? 
was that all about? What's going on here? Who are you? Is everything all right, Your Majesty? This young man. Hmm. None of his injuries are serious. He probably just passed out. Let us carry him then to the nearest village. Wait! I don't want people to know that we were the ones who found him. Hmm. As you wish, Your Majesty. Yet, we cannot simply leave him here. I'm glad you're here. I have a favor to ask you. What are you hiding, Shella? Who are you? I'm just Shella, last of the Ice Queens. What do you mean, last? That day, when I first saw you in this forest, it seems like such a long time ago. Did you know that Moonguile Forest had another name? At first, it was called the Moonglade Forest, but... As time passed by, people started using the wrong name. Eventually, the wrong name stuck. Maybe we do that too sometimes. We leave things lying around, things that should have been important to us. We leave them somewhere and just forget about them. Thus, we deceive others and eventually, even ourselves. A thousand years ago, five continents rose to the sky, leaving the land which was damaged by war with the gods. The Icelands also escaped into the sky. With help from the great whale, wizards gave us the ocean mirror. But there was something else as well. Yes. It will be a long and arduous task. I know. It is the same with you. You who chose to stay on the earth and live beneath the clouds. You who chose to live without the sun. Mm. Let us protect the ocean the world and the people together, at the bottom of the earth, beyond the frontiers of ice, until the time when the ravaged earth is at last purged of its taint, when people can finally return to the fertile lands below. Hoping that our children will return to the earth someday. Yes, our children. Now, let us begin, before the ocean is tainted with the venomous blood of the gods. I hereby lay my life down to seal the ocean, to remove its song from the earth, to halt the never-ending lullaby that has blessed this world forever past. Cast light upon the darkened earth. Save those lost in despair. O oh, mighty ocean, guide us as we journey through the darkest Forsaken our song and 
I have done this for generations. The queen protects the ocean and passes it on to the next queen until the final moment. It can't be. Th that's impossible. At first, I thought you were sent by the Empire to hunt me down. But we were attacked by Giacomo's men and I realized you weren't. I didn't know which side you were on, but I knew you were enthralled by some fearsome power. I wanted to stay and watch over you. I wanted to save you. I would have done anything I could. You were like me. We were two of a kind. You were different, different from the others. I could see your soul glowing with a mysterious light. When I was bonded with... Something told me, in the back of my mind, that in this era, those that can be bonded with a guardian spirit are much different from the others and have lives fraught with sadness. Why, Shella? Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't tell you until now. That was part of my oath. Not until the time comes. What was I supposed to say to you? The long lost ocean is inside me? Why don't you come with me and we'll find ourselves an exciting adventure? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry too. Now that the N. Magnus have been released, and the Earth has returned to us, I must fulfill my final duty as Ice Queen of Wazen. <sighs> Callus, I want you to do it. To release the ocean from inside me. If I do that, Shella, what will happen to you? No. I can't. I won't do it. I'm sorry for asking you to do this, but I can't do it on my own. We have both been bonded with the same guardian spirit. Our hearts can become one. The three of us should be able to release the ocean inside me. <sighs> Now that the Earth has been restored, everyone is waiting for the ocean to return. Please, Callus. Thank you. I knew you would. Okay, all right. I'll do it, I'll do it. Just promise me this. Don't leave us, Shella. Don't leave me. <laughs> Cast light upon the darkened earth. Oh, 
O oh, mighty ocean, guide us as we journey through. May, May time, ever, ever fleeting, forgive, forgive us. us. Fare thee well, my children. Rest in my heart forever. Thank you, Callus. Thank you. No, not so fast, kitties. What do you think you're doing? This world is mine. Shella. <laughs> Queen Shella, you will both be remembered in legends yet to come. I don't want to be remembered that way. Callus, 
the dream I saw two years ago, it wasn't about the end of the world. It was about you. It was you, in the heart of a dark forest, holding someone tight, crying. It was you, Callus. I... I just... wanted to be with you. To be a couple. Like any other. To hold each other. Like any other. Shella? Shella! Promised me you'd never leave us. That you'd never leave me. Shut up. Thank you. 